good happy Monday morning, July 29, 2019. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First step, two separate investigations underway in Concord. One investigation ruled homicide. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9, Tim Callery. can't afford it, our average customer pays $7,500 for a total roof replacement, and we have finance plans with payment options under $150 per month. Call today. Century Roofing, we've got you covered. The first investigation happening here at the Edgewood Heights condominiums, where authorities say 42-year-old Emerson Figueredo stabbed 35-year-old Natalia DePaisho to death. The two were husband and wife. And as a result of the investigation conducted, uh, he has been arrested and charged with alternative counts of second-degree murder. State and local police anchored down for much of Sunday afternoon. A section of a parking lot blocked off as investigators process evidence. To come around the corner, going to the dumpster, and finding all the police, all the tape, all the kids all around and everything. The reporters. I'm just, I'm surprised. Friends of the couple who wish to not appear on camera are in disbelief. They say Figueredo and DePaisho have two children. They're church-going people. Um, you know, they just seemed uh, happy whenever we saw them. They'd bring our kids to the pool, and um, it's really devastating. I saw him in handcuffs. He saw me by the police car. He said he was really sorry. I was surprised, and I was, uh, I don't know, I just... I can't believe it. At the same time as this investigation unfolds, three miles away, another one develops. The Attorney General's office assisting Concord police with an investigation at this home on Concord Street. But as of right now, no information is being released about what may have happened here. And now as for the Edgewood Heights homicide, the suspect in that case, Emerson Figueredo, is expected to appear in Merrimack Superior Court sometime tomorrow. Reporting live here in Concord, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. One person killed in car verse train crash in Newton. Five trains in experience delays, Amtrak says. One person was killed when a vehicle collided with a train in Newton on Sunday. Shortly before 6 p.m., a car was driving across the Amtrak down Easter Track on West Main Street and was struck by a train, according to the Newton Fire Department. The gate was down to in Decay, a train was approaching, according to the fire department. Rivera lives near the track and often hears noises associated with the trains passing. Initially, he had no idea how severe the crash was. State police could be seen marking what looked like skid marks near the tracks with spray.
spray paint as they investigated. A spokesperson for Amtrak said no one on board the train was hurt. There were about 150 passengers and crew members. The train will continue on its trip after the investigation is completed. Per Amtrak trains 695, 696, 698, and 699 will experience delays due to police activity on the railroad right of way. It is not known at this point the duration of the delays. Haverhill, Massachusetts police said the train is stopped at one of the city's train stations, but did not indicate which one. Authorities have not yet identified the victim of the crash. The road was closed until shortly before 10 p.m. Portion of Queen City Avenue closed after serious motorcycle accident. Drivers asked to avoid area. A serious motorcycle crash shut down a portion of Queen City Avenue on Sunday night. At 9.23 p.m., first responders were dispatched to Queen City Avenue and South Willow Street for a serious accident involving a motorcycle. Due to ongoing investigation, the eastbound lane of Queen City Avenue from Elm to South Willow Streets will be closed for a period. Drivers are asked to avoid this area. Anyone with information related to this accident is encouraged to contact the Manchester Police Department Traffic Unit at 603-668-8711. Police cancel alert to find vehicle involved in Charlestown fatal hit and run. Let's take a listen to that video from WCBB, Matt Reed in Boston. Check this out. One room of beautiful North American hardwood flooring installed for just $9.99. That's right, and this isn't just any hardwood. This is genuine Armstrong hardwood, the most trusted name in flooring. Call National Floors Direct at 888-400-FLOOR. After asking for the public's help for two days, locating this truck suspected of driving away from a deadly hit and run in Charlestown, Boston police announced Sunday they were canceling that community alert to find the vehicle. That news coming after this white truck was discovered in Everett Saturday that matches the description and surveillance photos provided by police, including the plywood fencing on the truck bed and visible front end damage. We had heard about it. As a matter of fact, I said to him, I wonder if that's the, the vehicle that was involved because they're not out there for an illegally parked car. There's a landscaping company advertised on the side of the truck, but the man who owns that business tells me he sold the vehicle months ago. Yesterday, I spoke on the phone to the man believed to own the truck. That man said several times this was not a hit and run and that we should talk to his lawyer. Today's update from police does not include the identity of the man killed in the hit and run, but does ask that anyone in the area of Alfred Street on Thursday night to please contact police and that no detail, no matter how small, may have a difference in this ongoing investigation. And this afternoon, I once again reached out to the man who's currently believed to own that truck, but so far, I've yet to hear back. Live in Charlestown, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5. 
Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Man died after shooting in Auburn Walmart parking lot. State police are still investigating. State police say a Turner man has died after a shooting in a Walmart parking lot. Authorities say 41-year-old Jean Fournier died at Central Maine Medical Center from injuries he suffered. The shooter was taken into custody Saturday night. No charges have been been filed. Police got the call around 8 p.m. The shooter's car has been taken to the state police crime lab for analyzation. An autopsy will be conducted by the Maine Medical Examiner's Office. At least four killed, 15 hurt in Garlic Festival shooting in California. Let's take a listen to that video from ABC News. Body experience. <laughs> Why the Houston State Sisters chose Verizon. We were right in front of her front row. Yeah, I touched on my because like held my hand for a while, and then we got to meet him after, which is like another surprise. Yeah, we love Ryzen even more now. I'll never forget that day. <laughs> the network more people rely on gives you more, like thousands of tickets to concerts, festivals, and private shows, plus a free Galaxy S10e when you buy one. That's Verizon. What's going on? What's going on? Is there fire? Right here. Okay, and there you go on that video from the scene. At least four people, including a suspect, have been killed in a shooting at the annual Garlic Festival in California. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast. Right here on the Riley King Network, I hope you all have a great rest of your Monday, and I'll see you back here later on today for another newscast. And I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Goodbye, everyone.